What's up guys? Welcome to our channel. The Rico Vlogs, it's Morgan. And Roman. And today we're gonna talk a little about us. So it was my freshman year in college. It was at Texas State University. So was Roman. 2014, I was a sophomore. She was a freshman. Um, and I started and of course me and all of my friends, we all had Tinder because how do you meet anybody in a school that's big? So we all had Tinder, you know, it's a thing to do back in 2014. And Roman and I ended up matching and he had tried to talk to me a couple times and I was, you know, dry texting, thought I was too cool for school. She thought she was too cool for school is what she says, but really she matched me. I, I, I liked her picture and it gave an instant match, which you guys know means that she liked it first. Anyway, fast forward to probably a couple weeks after we had matched and there was a football game and I had gone with a couple of friends and he was there and he was like, you know, hey, like come by and say hi. So I'm like, okay. And his phone died and so... Yeah, my phone was on 1% as I was messaging her, trying to tell her, hey, you know, I'm at the game, you want to come meet me? And then my phone died, but somehow she found out where I was. Uh, you had told me. Did you I? had told me. He had told me like the general area that he was. So I was like, okay. I took some of my friends, and I was like, let's go over there because there's this guy that I've been talking to that I want to see, like you know what he looks like. And so we go over there, and I'm too scared, so I send my friend, and she goes up and she's like, she taps on the shoulder, and then I like go and hide because I'm all yeah. scared. She taps on my. Her friend taps on my shoulder, and uh, I turn around and I'm like, uh, hi. And she says, are you Roman? And I say, yes, I am. And she says, oh, okay. She walks away casually. And I saw her, I glanced over to the side and I saw her run, or not run, but kind of hide behind a, it was like a, pillar. One, a pillar that yeah. was there. And I said, okay, I think that's Morgan. I'm like, too bad I can't text her because my phone's dead. And this is where the story gets really funny because I, I was with a couple of friends as well. And, uh, yeah, she can take over from there. So, since I was kind of, like, hiding and my friend was going over there, I didn't really see everything. So, I saw this guy standing there, like, in a maroon shirt with, like, a vest on, kind of. And I was like, if Total that's him, guy. Yeah. I was like, that is not who I thought I was meeting. And that's what I told my friend. I was like, that's not the right guy. Like, in her I've been words, catfished. In her words, she said... Uh-uh. He is ugly. <laughs> no, I I just really thought that I had been catfished. Okay, so I every time then after that that he would like start to text me, it was like super dry. He invited me out to pizza and he says he stood me up, but I don't remember even like thinking I didn't, about going. I didn't stand her up. The thing was it just we were never on, on the same page, so it just didn't work out. And we just fell off. She moved away to another school and I didn't hear from her again. And you messaged me while I was there. I, I sent her a message, and I do remember, which is funny because she's probably one of the only persons on Tinder that I remember, you know, since the day I matched her. And I just asked her how she was doing, and she said, oh, I moved to a different school, and yeah, that was the end of the conversation. Uh, so that was that. I thought, eh, you know, just another person. Uh, but fast forward to the following year, I had no idea, but she moved back. I didn't realize that I still had her on uh, my Snapchat, and I think that I actually had her number saved on my phone. I thought, you know... And I didn't I, realize I had his number saved either, because I had gotten new phones. I thought his number was gone, like... Yeah, she thought she had gotten rid of me, but little did she know. I'm like a leech. But Anyway, so I came back to school for my sophomore year, I went back to Texas State and I had a night class for algebra and I went in there and I saw him sitting at like the table next to where I ended up sitting down and honestly I was in a place where I didn't really want to talk to anybody, I didn't want to meet anybody but I told the girl sitting next to me, I think I matched with that guy on Tinder my freshman um, year. So, long story short, I ended up uh, dropping well, we both that dropped class. The class. It switched it for another one so again I was like you know that's the end of of that yep. we both dropped it and then a whole year went by it wasn't until 
the summer of 2016. Summer of 2016. Yeah, I added her on Facebook. Yeah, he added me on um, Facebook, and then it was my birthday coming up. I had gone to do work in Tennessee, and I was scrolling through my Facebook, and I, I saw her, so I added her. Asked her, you know, how she was doing, and she said that her birthday was coming up, and I was like, oh, awesome, you know? And the conversation ended at that, and maybe a, a month later, after your it birthday? Was, it was about a month later. It was... a. I want to say like a week after my birthday, he texted me and asked how my 21st birthday went and I was like, oh, I turned 20. I was like, not there yet. And after that, the conversation like fizzled again. And so I was like, oh, whatever. And at the time, like, you know, he had an ex or a thing and I had a thing at the time. So we, we you know, we're sticking with that. And then it wasn't until October. October that, 17th, by yes. the way that he messaged me telling me how cute my dog was and it, it, it was a good conversation start out <laughs> puppies dogs it's the way to go because i was on snapchat to so get you get yourself know. a partner <laughs> and, <laughs> and so then from there i mean we talked every single day and we ended up he came and saw me the first weekend of december and then i went and saw him the weekend before christmas, christmas and stayed with him and you know explored down here in the valley yeah she she has never she's from austin born and raised and i'm from uh the rio grande valley down south the point of texas and uh you know when she came down she was you know pretty much culture shock uh took her to mexico mm -hmm. took her to the beach she saw a bunch of nice things and she really liked it here and uh it, it was just a, a good time in my life because i also had gone through some pretty rough patches. Uh, I had to withdraw from school. Uh, I had I had gotten sick and you know overcame all of that stuff. And she really helped me with all of that in October when I messaged her about her dog. Uh, it was the start of, I guess you could say, us. It was life changing. <laughs> it was just you know, and, and we moved pretty fast too after Christmas. Um, yeah, we, he came and saw me again in San Marcos and the week he stayed of New with Year's. me. Yeah, the week of New Year's. And he asked me to be his girlfriend, and of course I was like, finally. And after he asked me to be his girlfriend, honestly, because he lived so far away, we lived five hours apart, I didn't ever want him to leave. And he wanted to go to school again back at Texas State and, you know, get a job up there. So he, As soon as I asked her out, um,. I decided, you know what, I'm going to apply for work up here, and if I get a job, I'll relocate. And it, believe me when I say, you know, I've applied for work before, and you, you know, you take weeks, sometimes months to get a call back. I got called back in two days. I was still up there when I got called back, and I just took it as a sign and said, you know what, it's a good job, they're going to pay me well, and why not, why not take the risk? I mean, yes, we've only been dating for four days. <laughs> But, but you know but what? we have been friends for three we years. We have been friends for three years on and off. A weird relationship, you know, to say the least. But I said, why not take that risk? If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, that's fine too. And you know? like, he still had friends in San Marcos. It's not like he didn't know anybody there because a lot of his friends, like, down from the valley that he went to high school with, they were still up there in San Marcos. You know, they yeah, they were finishing there. up school. So. so he still had people. It's not like he just moved and there was, you know, nothing. Nobody I mean, or anything. But the most important thing was that I had her and I decided, you know what, I'm going to make the move. I called my parents. I told them, hey, you know what, I'm, I'm going to move back up to Austin, San Marcos. Uh, and they said, you know what, you're grown up. You make those choices on your own. And they really helped me out, you know, they, they helped me with everything, so shout out to the fam. But I made that leap and I, all I can say is I'm, it, it worked out. You know, we moved quick, I think, after that. It was about five months and then... Every month. Was, yeah, five months later, I decided that she was the one. And I know that's quick, but having past relationships and past affairs or whatever you call it <laughs> I I would say that you you know when you find the right one because you might think you've wasted years or you might think eh. I decided why why date her for five years 
and then propose when I think I'm ready now. So after five months, I went to Zell's uh, behind her back, bought a, a ring with some bands that she had been talking about, and I, you know, I popped a question. And the craziest part of it all, honestly, was how like weirdly supportive our parents were. I mean, my family has loved him since day one because he's just like my grandfather because I was made by my grandparents. So my grandpa is like my dad and Roman is literally a replica of him. They both love fishing. They lo both love like history and everything. Anything I mean, outdoors, they anything. talk for hours and my grandpa is not a man to talk. He really isn't. Even to my best friends, he will still like, oh, hi. like, but for him, he's just, he's over the moon and you know, my whole family and so yeah, so my family loved him and crazy story, not really funny, but crazy. When Roman had finally decided like, you know, he wanted to propose, he wanted to ask for, you know, my hand from my grandparents, you know, be respectful. And so we packed up, we went to Austin, you know, from San Marcos and I told them we were on the way. And as soon as we were pulling like onto the street to get to my grandparents, my grandma called me and was like, hey, we have to go to the hospital. And I was like, what? You know, they were walking out the door as we were walking in. And, you know, shockingly enough, my grandpa had been having a heart attack. He had no idea, but some signs had come back funny from the doctor. So they told him, you know, you need to get to the hospital. And sure enough, he, his arteries were clogged and he was having a heart attack. And even laying there, about to go in to have surgery, he was, he asked me, you know, why we were coming to Austin and why I made him cook. Because, of course, they cook for us when we go. And I was like, I was crying. I was like, we don't have to do this right now. And he, he really wanted to know. And I told him, you know, I want to marry he, him. We want to get married. He said, you know what, tell him to come in here. And I didn't want to because I, as much as I love her and wanted to marry her, I mean, a family emergency yeah, is, is bigger than than asking a question, yeah. you know, we didn't want to take anything away from that. No. I mean, he was going through something, the whole family was, and it was a very tough time. And the only reason I did go in and ask him for his permission to marry Morgan was because he told me to. And out of respect, I wasn't going to say no. I walked in there and I shook his hand and we talked and he, you know, long story short, he said yes. I love my grandpa. I love my grandpa. I mean, he's just, he's so strong and he's very stern, but he's very loving and he's a big teddy bear. And I think in that moment, he was so scared. Very and cool man. He is. <laughs> and just like the thought that, you know, what if he wasn't here for, you know, Roman to be able to ask or, you know, to be able to see me get married. And the fact he just wanted, you know, to be able to tell us, like, all yes, of that, all of that starts running through blessing. your mind. and. I mean, yeah. the, the most you can do is just, you know, just hope that everything's going to be okay. And yeah. and it, it, it did. It, everything turned out great. Yeah, he's great now. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah. So. But that was kind of a crazy story for, you know, us wanting to get married. And my family was crazy supportive. It was hard definitely moving down here because now, obviously, we live in Harlingen. Roman just has so much family. And it's a lot cheaper to live down here to finish school oh, for yeah, me. Definitely. And, you know, so much land, too. It's amazing. Yeah. So now we're just, we came to Harlingen. We got married December 15th of last year, 2017. And it was amazing. And our wedding video is actually the first video we've ever posted on here. Yeah, so it's in our channel, guys. So head over there. Go ahead and check it out. Please. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.